Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So the stats for the heroes have started to come in. Now, I would take this with a massive grain of salt here, okay? Normally, they act as a pretty good tool to represent, you know, the different power levels of heroes. It's just that with the different armor values, the, everything needs to be thoroughly re-evaluated. But... It looks like my initial opinion of Malagos was correct. It looks like Malagos is a really good hero, and I still think that people are picking him when um, not accounting for the different advantages that can happen from the different minion typings. So uh, what I'm trying to say is Malagos is a particularly good if elementals are in the card pool, because when you reroll your ones, you can get Selemental. Uh, particularly good with Quillbore because you can get the one two that you know when you vendor the uh, Sun Bacon Relaxer it is uh, quite good with like pirates because of the tavern up one with tokens um, sometimes it's not the best to have both tokens in the game because even though it's good to have tokens so you can have a really powerful start uh, you don't want to refresh your ones into tokens so it's fine if you have tokens, but I actually prefer one token minion type with all the others that I mentioned. I think that's ideal. In any case, because of the difference of armor, uh, and this is one of the heroes that does a pretty good job of transitioning into late game builds because of the high occurrence of triples through cycling one drops, Malios is pretty good, man. One of the best heroes out there, and this is coming from uh, not so great from the heroes before the patch. So uh, really good stuff um, because we're putting heroes that are really fun into viable competitive ranges just by giving them a little bit of armor. This is what the armor patch is all about. So make sure you check them out once again. Uh, it's a fun playstyle. Enjoy the video. Murlocs, Beast Dragons. I think we can do, uh, we can do Malagos. Get your goggles on. You're clear for a takeoff. Well, oh. those are nice too. Alex Bran. No, not Alex. Oh no, Alex Bran and Galley Gallowix? Gallowix, dude? <laughs> Doing. Time's up. Okay. Oh my god, 10k bits. Hopefully this, the third 10,000 bit contribution, will get us the masses space bob. You're giving me too much of an incentive to have fucking Alzheimer's right now, okay? Pretty good, damn. Oh, Diablo is in this game. That's true. That is going to be a problem, isn't it? That battle belongs to you. Fine. There's no stopping you. That's lucky. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. This is gonna hurt. Crip apparently likes weird flight master Bob. I do! His positivity is contagious. Which is probably why you guys hate him. Not enough salt. Do 
Dude, we murdered Diablo. Dude, that's about as brutal as I've ever seen it. I don't like that. That's the weakest Diablo you've seen in ages. Another recruit just for you. The answer. Okay. Yeah, I'm still scaling, so I'm just gonna kinda run with it here. That was some of the best flying I've seen in a long time. I can afford a YOLO. It looks pretty strong, so... Yes, I am gonna get a 6. You think that's a joke? <laughs> I'll be watching the stream very long then. Doesn't seem horrible. Yeah. We'll go with not horrible on this one. You didn't see that play. No, because we're all thinking of better ones. You're correct, uh, because the worst play would be at a level, but because I insisted on leveling, I think that is an incredibly good play if I'm going to make the terrible play of leveling. Those are pretty damn good Mithrax. Alright. Yeah. This item, Exalted Orb, drop for you today. Should you vendor this trash? Um, what you're supposed to do with Exalted Orb is uh, pick your best item and use it on it while your eyes are closed. If they're not closed, you will not get anything good. So... Careful with that. Easy peasy. Oh, 
Oh. Diablo, I can win this. That is quite nice. That is quite tough. Yeah, it's a bit of a pricey, pricey card. Pretty good. I'm probably a bit weak here, so let's just pull the trigger on that. No idea how to play SSF and have an enjoyable experience. You hit a DPS wall very quickly. Just rolling with found items. The trick is to play a strong build and to know how you can expect to progress with items. I can't play Trade League anymore. I'm I'm done with Trade League. What can I say? You're a natural. Oh, there's some really shitty cards in there. Wow. <laughs> I was expecting to lose. I don't know what the hell just happened. <laughs> Mathel doing a good job with my build? I think he is, because he's never played a minion build before. Victory! Those are uh, pretty good dragons. I just don't know if I want to do dragons, right? That's a big one. Want a six drop? The fuck is that? How did I get no six drop? Yeah, minion builds are pretty uh, overwhelming if you hadn't hadn't played on before, because there's so many things in min-max. I'm getting a real kick of watching Mathel play my build, though, because he's playing, like, Doriani version, like, super DPS version. And I love how giggity he gets with the damage. Oh boy, that's a lot of attack. Too bad. Did I give him my build? Well, you can you can uh, do Crip Poe on Google and see my build, and uh, basically yes, but it's um. There's a large difference with that build, SSF versus Raid League. Oh, for fuck's sake, now I get them, huh? Holy shit. Yeah, fuck it. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. You're pushing your luck, little Finn. Safe travels, minion. My children, I give you my luck. Dead? I could be, yes. But it's really easy to get Nadina with, with this hero. So if I do this and get Nadina... Um... Be extremely strong. Doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, barely any damage. That was the worst play possible. Okay. 
Gonna get the ghost right here. Oh wait, it's Diablo. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, that was unfortunate, actually. I should have done this because we haven't get Caligos again. Kill me, Diablo. Time's up. Off you go. Actually, really strong. Very, very strong hits, though. That's arguably better because that may have killed me. <laughs> it's fine. You don't survive at 11 health very often. It is all good, as they say. This one's a real troublemaker. Sold. Here's your gold. My seal for Argon. May scenarios smile. Mm. I'm gonna be pretty bored locked, but um, on this turn, unfortunately, I don't have that much of a choice. I am a little bit behind on scaling, and that guy did beat Diablo from the look of it. Six damage on the average is ten on the minimum. Yeah, I got I got pretty lucky, but if I got hit for ten, it's just as lucky, because having five health right now versus having one health is literally the same thing. Actually, having one health might arguably be better when it comes to facing ghosts. They might get a more favorable outcome. Yogg, one of our friends. Oh, I don't know. Holy fuck! Dude, those are those are actually the best three demons I have ever seen. Off of that secret. This is the best I've ever seen. No joke. I didn't help him at all, but... He could have won as close to a 50, I think, because if he cleaved my my pink guy, I think I would have lost. Victory! Oh, no, I guess I would have won. Pretty tough. <clears throat> Excuse me. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. No. I need to hit a battle cry, Murloc. My seal for Argon. That may 
have been a little bit too greedy. Looks pretty good though. Tied or something? What the fuck was that? Really? They tied? That's insane. What a great I always you bully saw. you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cybrix. Another recruit just for you. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can get a Martin lock out of that one. L3. Thank you for watching the entire evening with that comment. Thank you very much. Marvelous work. Galloix is no slouch. I might uh, might just win this one. Like right here. Nope. Okay, I guess he's pretty strong then. And that's how it's done. Great job. Let's roll, minion. Another recruit just for you. Everyone's gunning for you. I'm actually surprised he beat Galuix. Oh, Galuix was the next turn combat attack buff. He loses like 20 attack when he becomes a ghost. That's why he beat him. I think Galuix is probably second strongest there. Get bullied. <laughs> 